Okay, we will continue with what we call morphophonemic processes. Under the Japanese as a phonology, and it has several concepts, obviously. We first discuss the assimilation. Assimilation refers to a sound change. Again, let me ano, um, have a simple recall he here. What is, again, the concept called when we say the smallest unit of sound? Unsa may tawag, Anna? Phoneme. Phoneme. Very good. <laughs> Ang phoneme, or the smallest sound, na daw change when it comes to assimilation. There is a change of a phoneme when it comes to pronouncing or articulating the word. A sound change in which some phonemes, consonants or vowels, change to become more similar to other nearby sounds. Dili siya kaayo, medyo wordy siya and medyo technical siya, but let's explain this and let me put this through having this example. The word input. In rapid pronunciation of the word input, kung paspason ni mo na siya, eventually you will pronounce it as input. No? I-M-P-U-T na siya instead of I-N-P-U-T. From input, 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 it sounds more like an input. Okay? So, what's the reason behind that linguistic phenomenon? Well, the reason is, you can see it in this chart, it's what we call assimilation. There is a sound change from m to m. There is a sound change. That is the first premise. A sound change in which some phonemes, consonants or vowels, ma change daw siya into more similar, that becomes more similar to other nearby sounds. On sa may nearby sounds, di ng m and then ng m. On sa may nearby sounds nila. Katapad nila. Nearby. Dool ng mga sounds. Nearby sound ng hmm. Sa kanina word. Focus sa input nga word. Hmm. Ano sa'y kasunod nga sound? Hmm. Sunod sa hmm nga sound. Hello? Hmm? Input di ay? Input? Sunod nga sound sa hmm. Puh. Okay. That's the phoneme. Nakalimot na mo. I N P U T, okay? The nearby sound of m. Sunod p. Hello. Sunod sa n p or the sound p. Okay. Now, there is a sound change now from m sound ganung name mo siya m sound especially if we pronounce it rapidly. Well, according to this chart, sige, lantaw na to. According to this chart, the I-N. Asaman si N. The symbol is this, right? N is an alveolar sound. The tip of your tongue meets your alveolar ridge. Diba? Nakadumdum pa mo. That's place of articulation, ladies and gentlemen, if you still remember. Okay? The alveolar sound, mm, ang sunod ad to nga word sa input, sunod sa N, is letter P. Layo man kayo si P, Dili po ide. Linguists saying uh, we struggle pronouncing or articulating the words. Some words, actually. That is why the definition here suggests nga, to become more similar to other nearby sounds. Nearby sounds of N or the letter N is P. Nearby sound ba sila? Lagyo, dili. Lagyo, of course. But our mouths have this uh, articulating mechanism na magpulisag from m to m. Parehas man sila bilabial. They are both bilabial. That is why our pronunciation will result into um, um, choosing the letter or the sound m. From in, m, mo travel pa man into p, p, into bilabial. Why not? M, M, M na lang, no? Pariyas sila, bilabial. Ang kasunod sa nearby sound ng M is P, bilabial mang yahapo ng letter P. Why not input na lang? That's the excuse of our mouth, so to say, para makapronounce ta ng dali. 
Okay, there is an ease of pronunciation, pronunciation when we try to pronounce the examples right there. From input, 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 lisod siya. Input na lang. Input, input. Mm, bilabial, p, bilabial. There is less travel in our vocal organs. Okay? From input, input na lang. Okay? Sa pronunciation. But in spelling, that's obviously incorrect. Okay? Now, another example. Handbag. Handbag. If we try to pronounce the handbag rapidly, no? May mo siya handbag eventually sa atong paminaw. Handbag, handbag, handbag. Especially pag paspason. Especially sa mga American, native American English speakers. Di ba? Gabi ka common sa ilang yana na pronunciation. It's very common that they pronounce words like this such way kay mo may ilang accent. Okay? That's their accent and that's how they sound. But the explanation for that is again assimilation. Okay? Under assimilation, ang hand d n alveolar and d d alveolar man ang kasunod is hand may sunod sa n and d b b is b bilabial yes bilabial man ang b therefore layo ka ayo okay mo travel na pod from hand d d mo but layo ka yung travel ng atong mouth no from alveolar to bilabial why not our mouth will choose ham. Ang kasunod, total, bilabial naman ang v, ham, bag. Ham, bag na lang. Ham, bag. Ham, bag. No? Nagpinuluho ang atong mouths in pronouncing the words. Substance assimilation. In college, I call this one, pinagpalit sa malapit. Yes. Para mas masabta na ako sa una, nag-review pa ko, I often call this one, um, assimilation is pinagpalit sa malapit because the nearby sound naghanap ng masajun. Okay? Naghanap ng masajun instead of just pronouncing these sounds. Hand, d, bag, why not? Ihambag rakan. Okay? That's assimilation. Next concept is what we call dissimilation. <clears throat> Ang dissimilation class, there are two sounds becoming less alike. Take note, ha? <clears throat> Dissimilation, two sounds becoming less alike in articulatory or acoustic terms. What do you mean by two sounds becoming less alike? There are basically two sounds, or if you try to pronounce a word and you try to repeat the same sounds or same phonemes, dili pwede. Okay? For example, what is the last phoneme of this word? Last phoneme, ha? Huh? Last sound. E, culture, di ayun eh? Er, very good. Letters and words, spelling, are not equal with sounds. Naglibog na sad mo. Culture, di ay culture. If we pronounce each letter. Sakto, dili. Sakto, culture. Dili. The last phoneme here is er, culture. So, if we try to Repeat and duplicate the sound or the last phoneme, no? If we try to duplicate the last phoneme, culture ral dapat. Dili dapat culture rar. Okay? Because two sounds dapat maging less alike. Dili dapat sila parehas. Okay? That's for our understanding, for the ease of understanding of our own brains to understand and comprehend the language or the words. For example, another example is module. Last phoneme of the word module is l, module. No? Dili na siya module le. Dili na ni muna pronounce. Okay? Ang module, l man ang last phoneme, if you try to change the grammatical category from the word module, noun, into adjective, no? Modular na siya. Modular ang atong we. Module. Lal, dili pwede. Because two sounds should not be repeated and two sounds must become less alike dapat. Sabtan, si dissimilation. Okay? From culture, dili siya pwede, culture rar. Okay? You cannot repeat two sounds at once, because, at twice, because that's not what dissimilation suggests. Okay? Dissimilation thinks nga, Dili igid siya understandable and it sounds very weird pag magpronounce ka ng two sounds at the same 
pronunciation or same phoneme. Okay? So, next concept is haplology. Ang haplology, same two sounds yapon. Same two sounds present in one word, but you drop a sound to ease pronunciation for you not to struggle in articulating or in your pronunciation. No? There are two same sounds in one word. For example, governor. On sa may na-repeat na phonemes? Ang er. Very good. Ang governor. Duha ka phonemes. Two sounds. You drop a sound to is pronunciation. From governor, naging governor na lang siya. Especially if done uh, rapidly. Okay? Governor. Governor na lang siya. Okay? From library, duha yapon ka er, duha ka phonemes, two same sounds. Right? You make it into library na lang. Especially sa mga um, Afri uh, American native English speakers. No? Library. I will go to library. Library na lang siya. Dili siya library. Okay? Dili na to i-pronounce tanan. Library. No. Because apology suggests that same two sounds must be, one phony must be dropped for, for our pronunciation to be easy. Okay? Sa February, na word, dapat may sa una, February. It's very hard to pronounce. Diba? Very hard to pronounce, especially rapidly. Now, we will resort into, ano, pronouncing it as February. 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 Dapat. Okay? February. Wala na February because it's very hard to pronounce it that way. That's haplology. Same two sounds, you drop a sound or one phoneme. Isa lang man. To ease pronunciation, especially when there are two same sounds. That's haplology. Next one is what we call deletion. Deletion class, removing a weak phoneme, especially in a rapid speech. This is very familiar in the word handbag. No? Handbag. Kani? Handbag. Ang letter D, di, di na kayo ma-pronounce. No? Handbag. 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 Wala na. Di na ma-emphasize ang phoneme na D, D. Handbag. Di na ingana. Handbag. Handbag. Give me my handbag. Ingana na lang. So, ang tawag na pag di kayo ma-pronounce is a weak phoneme. Okay? Weak phoneme or not very noticeable na sound. Okay? Hinay kayo siya pag i-pronounce siya ng word. Okay? Now, there are three types of deletion. Number one is aphiaresis. Okay? Aphiaresis is the initial. You're very familiar with this na. Initial means nasa so good. For example, ang word na no. You cannot pronounce the phoneme k when you pronounce this word. Okay? Delete siya k no. There is a phonological conditioning there na dapat no lang ang pagka-pronounce ana. Okay? No dapat. Silent k. No wonder nga na mga silent pronunciations, no? Sa English language. That's deletion. Dili dapat ka maka-pronounce og adto mga butang. Okay? Another adto mga letters. Syncope is what happens when you omit a pronunciation or weak phoneme sa middle or central or sa internal. Just like sa handbag. Dili na siya ma-pronounce. Handbag na lang siya. Okay? There's a weak phoneme or the letter D. Okay? Aposcope is where the final uh, removal of the weak phoneme happens. Okay? Ang aposcope, for example, sa brand or word nga Lacoste, you cannot pronounce the word nga eh. Lacoste. Dili na Lacoste. Lacoste dapat. Just like kaganina sa culture, you cannot pronounce the E there. Culture. It's spelled that way but it's pronounced in this uh, different way. Now, culture, dili dapat i, -i. Aposcope example is this one. Okay? Hindi li pronounce ang sa last nga phony. Aposcope, syncope, and aphiaresis. Aphiaresis, asugod, syncope in the middle, and aposcope in the final. Okay? That's deletion. If na deletion, if, if there is a deletion, there's also what we call insertion from the word nag-insert ka og phony. Now, there's, this is very common among us Filipinos. No? Because there are two types of insertion. Okay? Number one is prothesis. In this case, star. Ang sa Filipinos or sa Spanish, is star. Na i insert nga phoneme or soa diha, no? Na S, eh, is star. Is star. Lala kagana sa star, yung nga namang gusto mag-pronounce. Diba? From star, the first phoneme should be s. But Filipinos resort in pronouncing or inserting a phoneme which resulted into star. 
star. Star, star. Now, class, that's called prothesis pag na nag insert sa unahan. Okay? But how about, sir, kung mag-insert sa middle? Epenthesis ang tawag dyan. Okay? Epenthesis, hamster nga word, if you try to pronounce it rapidly, try daw, hamster, 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 paspasa yun, hamster, hamster, hamster. Na notice ninyo, mukhang na ay ping ang isingit diha. No, hamster, hamster, mo na ipuk ng word before kamo proceed sa, no? Hamster, hamster, hamster. Mo siya hamster na. Okay? You insert a phoneme or a sound in the middle and that's called epenthesis. But when you insert a phoneme in the initial or in the beginning of the word, that's called prothesis. And insertion was highly influenced by the Spaniards when they colonized the Philippines. Because ang ilang language, kargado ng eh. Kargado ng ingana. For example, sa star, is star. Ingana. Ang style nila nga word, the word style, di ba sa Filipino, estilo. Estilo ng pamumuhay. Ang style, imbis na ang naguna, because of the influence of those um, invaders, no? those colonizers, na imo siya, na-apply ang prothesis and epenthesis. Sabtan. Okay. That's insertion. Now, now, the last concept under phonology is what we call metathesis. Okay? Metathesis reorders or reverses a sequence of segments. For example, imungi, uh, the definition here is that you reorders, uh, you, you reorder the word or reverse the sequence of the words no, or the letters within a word. For example, the word ask. This is very common among African American people. Okay, bis na ask. Have you noticed na sa mga movies or sa mga TV shows, ang ilang ask is may ask you something, nga ng ilang pagka-pronounce. That's metathesis. Okay? Ang asterisk, name mo siya asterisk. Okay? Mabaliktad nila ba? Okay? The clue here is that you reorder when you reorder or when there is a reorder or reverse of the words or segments of the words or letters within a word, mo na tawag natong metathesis. Okay? That's metathesis. If we compare the key differences naman of phonetics versus phonology, we should not read these words. Dari na lang tanagin para mas masabdan. Phonetics, of course, deals with how sounds are produced. The way we place our tongues and teeth and uh, our glottal, our lips, our velar, our um, sa pani? Alveolar ridge, every single organ in our mouth, kung asa siya na belong when we pronounce and articulate the sounds, that's what we call phonetics. And it is universal to language because universal meaning present siya sa each and every language na exist here in this world. Okay? Because each language and every language uses mouth. No? requires a human being to use his or her mouth to produce language or sounds. Diba, sa Bisaya, magamit niya po na nga to dila, magstoria. In Tagalog, we also do that. In English, we also do that. Phonetics, therefore, is present to every language. But phonology is not, because phonology deals with how sounds are interpreted. And each language has different Composition of sounds, our language here in Bisaya or Filipino, is different from that of the English language, right? Now, phonology is just very specific to language because each language is unique. Each language has different features or linguistic features or grammatical features. For example, para mas masabtan niyo. Sige. Si phonetics, if we pronounce the word um, sa Bisaya, um, give me a Bisaya word. Any Bisaya word? Um, kuan, jong kuan. Mm. Diba if we pronounce the kuan, we still use our vocal apparatus or organs to produce such word. And the word kuan has different phonemes there. It is composed of different phonemes. K, the u, and the a, and the m. Mm. Therefore, 
Pag nag-study kita sa placement na ay phonetics. Nga involve. Sakto dili. Sakto. Na involve therefore sa phonetics mas sa Bisaya pa ka or sa Filipino, Tagalog, Spanish, English, universal siya. Present siya sa every language regardless what the language is. Okay? Now, si phonology is specific to language. Sir, why is that? Why is phonology specific to language lang? Sige, para mas masabtan. Let's have an example. Um, give me a word, a Bisaya word, na nag-start sa NG. NG nga word. Ngano. Ngano. O ngano. Diba na, masabta na siya sa atuan, diba? It's very understandable for us, Bisaya people. Okay? Ngano. Eh, translated to English, why? Or why? No. Ngano, uniquely existing sa atong lingwahe. Ngano. Bisaya language. Sige. Let's have... Give me an English word. Any English word. Uh, nice na lang. Nice. 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 Understandable. Right? Both words. Understandable. Ang ngano and then ang nice. Ngano is Bisaya and nice is English. Sige. Let's universalize the phonology. Nanong specific man siya into language, if you might agree, if you might argue. Sige, let's try to universalize the phonology. Let's make it universal. Okay? Let's make it universal to language. Yeah. Si phonology, let's assume na universal siya or applicable siya sa each and every language existing here in this planet. Sige, let's apply. Okay? So, ang atong language sa Bisaya na nga no, Na ba yung English word na nag-start sa NG? Sige, can you think right now? You can't think of any word. There may be places or brands, no? But most of the English words or language do not start from this or these letters. So, if we apply or universalize phonology... Universal to language man ka si phonology if we try to make it that way. Si nga no, if we apply it nga no, i-combine na to ni. May mo siyang nice. Existing ang word dili. Nag-exist ang nice nga word? Wala. Therefore, phonology cannot be or will never be universal. Because each language is unique. We have our own alphabet. We have our own pronunciation, differentiation of the phonemes. Ang itawag na ito. Di ba natay enye? Na enye dahil sa English alphabet. Wala. Right? Each language is unique and it is the study of phonology to identify how sounds are interpreted. That's the job of phonology. Ang phonetics, of course, Magamit yung tag atong vocal organs to pronounce every language. Maskin unsa pa na ang language. Sabtan ang difference sa doha. Okay, very good. Articulation versus pronunciation. When we try to differentiate the two, let's include the word, um, the, the third concept, which will, which will be ano, um, understood um, when we try to first define the two. Articulation refers to the usage of speech organs. So, let's make it um, easier articulation pila ka phoneme ang naasa let's identify the phonemes of this word articulation mismo first phoneme a ah. second phoneme er third t t next e e e rt rt so if i break down nimo ang phonemes if you per, if you pronounce if you articulate each phoneme, that's articulation. But if you pronounce the single word composed of different phonemes, that's pronunciation. Okay? Ang pronunciation is how you pronounce a word. Okay? Ang articulation is how you pronounce the phonemes. How you articulate the phonemes. How you represent vocally the phonemes. That's articulation. 
Ang pronunciation refers to how you pronounce the word. Gets. Nakalahian. There is what we call also enunciation. Enunciation refers to how you read the entire composition of words. Kung imubinasahan, wala giyoy sense. Articulation refers to the usage of speech organs such as tongue, jaw, lips, etc. Kung iyan ka magbasa, you have little to no enunciation skills. Pero pag imong binasahan sa paragraph is ing ani, articulation refers to the usage of speech organs such as tongue, jaws, lips, etc. In order to produce sounds while pronunciation refers to the way words need ing ana ka magbasa, you have at least the enunciation skills. Therefore, enunciation refers to how well you read or your skill in, you re in reading the composition of words or you read the paragraph. Again, articulation, pronunciation, and enunciation. Okay? Those are the differences of the three. So, I guess that's, that's it under phonology. Okay, I hope that you learned something tonight and let's have an activity. Prepare one hold, please.